Hello, and welcome to Book Club. We are reading Desmond Cole, Ghost Patrol. Ghosts don't ride bikes, do they? This is the second book in the series. If you have not read book one, that is okay. We give a quick review of what really happened in book one so you get an idea of who our characters are, and then it dives right in. So don't worry. If you have, welcome back, and you'll know that you love this series already. We're going to read chapters one and two, and then we're going to stop because that is all that we should be reading for book club tomorrow. So when I open up my book, I'll get right to the table of contents. If you don't know yet, the table of contents is very important in books, especially chapter books. A lot of chapter books have these. They help us keep on track. So it'll say contents and the chapter numbers, the chapter names and then what page they're on. So like tomorrow when you need to read again and follow along with me, or if you're just listening, you'll know what page we're starting on. So we're gonna start on page one today, chapter one. This is called Thrills and Spills. All right, chapter one, Thrills and Spills. Let's talk about the thrills and spills of riding a bike. Is there anything more thrilling uh, more thrilly, thrilling than racing down the street with the wind in your face. Even the spills are cool. Trying to do a trip and falling off your bike or coming home with a brand new hole in your jeans, it's the best. Thrills and spills. You can't have one without the other, and I wouldn't want it any other way. The thing is, nobody ever talks about the chills of riding a bike, at least not until I moved to Kurzweil. This town is made of chills. My bike is the coolest thing in the world. It's black with red rims. The handlebars have a compass on one side, a light in the middle, and a horn on the other side. Not a bell, a horn. What I love about my bike is that it's not a shiny, it's not shiny and new. This bike has been through a lot of spills. There are scratches on the paint and dents to prove it. The seat even has a piece of black electrical tape from when I crashed trying to ride backwards. Bad idea. The thing is, even though my bike isn't perfect, it's all mine. It's moved to every new house we've moved, moved to, and it feels the same no matter where I live. It's basically been my best friend. I have a real friend now. His name is Desmond Cole. He never cared about bikes before. Why? Well, do you see that bike over there? The one with the compass, the light and the horn, the one with the scratch in the frame and the electrical tape on the seat, the one that's riding through the forest without anybody on it. Yep, that's my bike. Why is the bike riding by itself? Well, that's a strange story. That was all chapter one. All right, chapter two, ghost secrets. So for those of us, or those of you guys who are just joining us and were not in the first book club and did not read the first book, these are ghost stories, but they are not scary. So you do not need to be scared. Um, they are not scary. They're pretty fun though. Ghost secrets. Last week, I introduced Desmond to my most prized possession in the whole world, my bike. I opened the garage and my bike was right there in its own spot. The sun streamed into the garage and the light made my bike glow. What do you think? I asked. A bike? Desmond said flatly. I guess it's cool. It's cooler than cool, I said. Wanna go riding? I don't do bikes, Desmond said. I was shocked. Why not? Because I like ghosts, he said. What do ghosts have to do with bikes, I wondered. Hmm. Desmond must have been reading my mind. Ghosts don't ride bikes, he said. Like it was something everybody in the world already knew. That was when Zach exploded through the wall. He's a ghost. So it's not weird, or it's not as weird as it sounds. Andreas, I need a ratchet from the toolbox. Wait, Zax, I said, let me ask you a question. Is it true that ghosts don't ride bikes? Of course ghosts don't ride bikes, Zax said. Then he let out a hearty laugh that was almost as loud as his burps. Why not, I asked. Birds don't ride bikes, do they, Zax replied. Um, no, I said. Desmond nodded. See what I mean, Andreas? To be honest, I was still confused. Zach looked up from the toolbox. Why would a ghost ride bikes when they could just float everywhere? 
um, because riding a bike is awesome, I said. Speaking of awesome, I hear the Kersville Bike Park has a crazy race, tra a race track. Desmond shrugged. There won't be any ghosts there, so count me out. Have fun. I'll see you later. He waved goodbye and went next door to his own garage. That's where he had his ghost patrol office. I guess Desmond liked ghost, ghosts as much as I liked my bike. Found it, Zax exclaimed, holding up the ratchet. He closed the toolbox and floated straight toward the wall. He almost made it through, but then I heard a loud clang. The ratchet dropped and smacked against the floor. Oh yeah, Zach said. He floated into the garage. I keep forgetting not everything can go through walls. Can you carry this for me? Okay. I kicked off my gear. I kicked off my gear and took the tool. What are you doing with this anyway? Zach smiled. It's a secret. A secret? Something told me I wasn't gonna like the ghost secrets. But I put it out of my mind. I had better things to do. I had a bike park to check out. And that's the end of chapter two. I will see you tomorrow.